Hello everybody and welcome to an unboxing video of the Razer Death Adder Essential. Now this was given to me as a gift by one of my close friends as you'll see from the message on the side and I thought let's just do a quick unboxing of it. So before that let's take a look at the box and everything that's on it. So as you can see in the front of the box it has the name there with a nice photo of the mouse on the front and looking at the side of the mouse it has the classic black and green Razer on the side. The back has a little bit of information about the DPI, the ergonomic form factor, the use of experience and how the mouse performs and why you should buy it. And I think it's just the same information written down there in different languages as well. Now taking a look at the bottom of the box, we can see a little bit of system requirements and what you need to get this mouse plugged in. And there's pretty much nothing on the top of the mouse, so let's just get in the box. So the box just has one seal that we're going to use our trusty scissors to break into and then let's take a look inside. Once you take off the first tab, you can see inside it says for gamers by gamers on the second tab. That's a classic Razer branding. The first thing in the box is an instruction manual. Now I'm going to be using this with the PS4 so I don't need it, but you might need to use it for your PC. The other thing in the box is a Razer sticker that you can stick onto your PC or wherever you like. And finally, we have the mouse in a cardboard box and a nice bag. So we're just going to take it out of the bag and take a look at the mouse and everything that we have in the box itself. So here are the contents. As you can see, obviously it's a wired mouse and it has a USB on the end. The USB itself is covered with a small tab that you can take off. So just so you know, it stays protected so you actually have to use it. Now taking a look at the mouse itself, you can see it has this Razer logo that will light up once you plug it in. Going around the mouse, it has grips on both the sides for your thumb and your finger on either sides of the mouse. It also has the programmable buttons on the sides that you can map to whatever you like. There's obviously the bottom with the laser point flashing out and obviously the two buttons and the scroll wheel on the top of the mouse. The cable of the mouse itself is braided which means it should be durable, last longer, there shouldn't be any bends or any issues with the cable itself. And the USB plug has the razor branding on it and it's also a green in color to complement the entire color scheme that the mouse is going with. Finally, it also has this strap that you can reuse so if you travel a lot with your mouse and need to carry it around for like a laptop and stuff, this might be helpful for you. Now obviously Razer has been known to make some beautiful products and this mouse is definitely no exception. The mouse has a really ergonomic shape starting with the light up logo on the top and also a light up scroll wheel both in green perfectly complementing the black mouse. The keys on the side are also really huge and easy to use and it just looks like an overall great product. Now the real reason that I'm really excited is because for those of you that know I recently bought a simple keyboard mouse to play Call of Duty on my PS4 but I also got this sick gaming mat with it which as you can see has a whole set of RGB lights that you can set to any color or pattern that you like. And now to accentuate that mat perfectly I can switch out my old mouse that I got with the set and for the Razer Death Adder Essential. And now that black and green looks absolutely sick I think that just completes the setup and it just makes it look amazing. The mouse itself is really big and also really easy to use. You can see here that I have to use almost my entire palm to grab the mouse but it sits there comfortably, it's really ergonomic, uh, the keys on the top are really nice, so is the scroll wheel and also the buttons on the side that you can map to anything that you like. In my short time testing the mouse, I can tell you that I can definitely feel a huge upgrade in the way the mouse moves and feels. Not only that, the programmable buttons on the side have been a huge help. I've programmed it to throw grenades which means that I no longer have to worry about losing my motion, searching for the key on the keyboard. I can just keep going without losing my focus or my motion and my game just feels a whole lot different. Now this was in no way a review of the mouse but obviously I've had a fun time using it and I can easily say that if you're looking for a good mouse made by a company that knows what they're doing, I think you'll really have a good time using it. But that's been it for me guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.